You still need two hundred on the phone. What happened? Did you guys fight? What? Talk to me. What is it? Are you okay? What is it? Talk to me. I know. He sure has an eye for good of things, course, you know. He does. I mean, look at me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so how is he? Um, he went to work. Let's count this baby. Okay. <laughs> he proposed. Mm -hmm. He's a perfect man. Uh -huh. And he's your dad's best employee. You can say that again. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing here? We're supposed to be servicing somewhere. Of course. Thinking gases, you know. This is not okay, just so anything. Where um, do you want <clears> to take me? I don't know, but I know we have to be somewhere. Right. We have right. to be somewhere. You know, we're clinking glasses. Uh, okay. like, you know, you want everything. to take me for some champagne? Okay, okay. I got you. <laughs> I didn't say that, baby. Really. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. Have you told your dad about our engagement yet? No. So when do you plan on telling him? I don't know. I don't know. He and I are not in good terms anyway. You and Chief are never in good terms. I wonder when you both will quit the cat and mouse game. When he stops playing around with girls my age. I wonder how my mom feels watching him from her grave. My father has become the sugar daddy of Abuja. That man has to choose between me and those girls he runs around with. As a matter of fact, I may not even invite him to my wedding. Wedding? Yes, wedding. Are we talking about a wedding already? You proposed? I said yes. What else should we be talking about? The marriage, of course, you know, I just... I just think we should, you know, take our time. Take our time? For what? We live together already, and there is money. I mean, there is plenty of money on ground. Listen, babe, we need to start planning our wedding. In fact, we need to pick a date. You know what? I think you work so much. My father is not going to fire you anyway, so let's do something more fun. Babe, I have a lot of work to catch up with. Mm. Can we? Mm. Mm. I do have a mind. Mm. Hello? Yeah, Tiffany Smith speaking. Yeah, the event planner. Mom, I've told you I don't plan weddings anymore. I used to, but I've stopped. No, you don't tell me what to do or what not to do, okay? You can call me for birthday party, baby showers, maybe burial ceremonies or something, but not weddings. I'm not being rude, okay? Hello? And who is being rude now? <laughs> Whatever. And you know some girls are about to get married to another scum. 
<sighs> Apparently, we have two months to plan the biggest wedding of the year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> two months? What in the chase you now? <laughs> you have to direct that question to Ella. You know, I'm actually shocked that you proposed to her. Yes, I understand the fact that everybody wants the chief's daughter simply because of the financial security that comes with being with her. But you get leave her. Seriously, you get leave her. Chief's daughter, where everybody they manage, and I reach your own turn, <laughs> you come monopolize. <laughs> I love him so much, and I can't wait to spend forever with him. Does Chief know about both of you? Not yet. Even if he does, my dad loves Charles anyway. As an employee, not as a son-in-law. You don't think Chief will like me for his daughter? <laughs> oh, please, can we not just make this about my dad? Actually, Lucy, I called you so we can start preparations. I need you to get me the best event planner in the country. Let's start with that. <laughs> I know you're good with things like that. So best friend, I need you to get to work. All right. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. <laughs> What did you just say? I said, love is a beautiful thing. You should try it, Ben. Charles, do you know what is beautiful? Freedom. Knowing the fact that you don't owe anybody any loyalty. For instance, what do you think will happen to you if you ever get to hurt Ella? you will lose your job. As for me, I am not ready to fall in love with anybody anytime soon. <laughs> hmm. This is good. Yeah, well, yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, so, so what? Have you heard of Tiffany's events? Tiffany's event. Okay, come and see. Uh, okay, wait. Do you know that um, Slater's 60th birthday I attended? The mm -hmm. one I told you that was so big. Now she organized it and it was so late. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, well, from the look of things, she's good at what she does, but... There are so good event planners here in Lagos. Why are you speaking as if distance is going to be a barrier? Come on, look at that bio. She can travel to anywhere you want. Girlfriend, every one of them says that. Come on, let's be serious though. Besides, you know these event planners in Lagos, all of them will be so booked up and busy and all whatnot, and you want them rushing your wedding? <laughs> Come on. All right, fine. Give her a call. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Hello. Hi. Yeah, this is Stephanie Smith. I know that. So how may I be of service? Okay, so let me tell you this. You're going to be planning the biggest wedding in Lagos. I'm sorry, miss. I no longer plan weddings. If that'll be all. Bye. Did she just hang up? Yeah, she did. That is very rude of her. Does she know me? Hold on, what does she think I am? One of these Lagos fakers girls that have 30 million naira worth of assets and 5k balance. 
You know what? You need to call her back. I want to talk to her. Name your prize. Mom, I believe you're not deaf. Million Naira. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can you handle an event of that magnitude? <laughs> yes, yes I can. Alright then, the wedding is in Lagos. What do you say? Oh, Lagos? Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. I can travel. Oh. You know what? I need you to come down to Lagos as soon as possible because the wedding is in two months' time. Your accommodation and everything is on me. Okay, perfect. All right, so why, why don't I call you later so we can talk about the wedding and make plans? All right, it's fine. I'll be expecting your call. Lagos, here I call. I told you, power of money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now, cheers to that. Mm. Power of money. Cheers. Ella Williams. <laughs> the big Ella Williams. You can <laughs> say that over and over again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, babe, please. I don't want to be late. I'm right behind you. So, um, you make sure you take care of yourself today, okay? Uh, I will. Don't miss me too much. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you so much, baby. Mm. I'll see you later. Um, babe, that reminds me. Yeah. I'll be going to the airport to pick up the event planner today. Event planner? I didn't tell you. Oh. Um, well, I have this very good event planner that will be coming into Lagos today. Okay. Babe, you're really going all the way with this one on your own. Since you won't take a break from work. And tell the chairman what? Oh. That I'm about to get married to his daughter without his consent? Come on, babe. First things first. We need to let your dad know what's going on here uh, before any preparations begin. Oh, please, babe. You have a nice day at the park. Ah. Uh, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll talk about this when I get back. All right. All right. Hello, Ahmed. Ahmed, please, I need your services right now. My car just broke down and I'm on my way to the airport to pick up someone. What? You're busy. Listen, Ahmed, I don't care. I'm going to send my location to you so you come here right now. Hello? Tiffany? You're already at the airport? Oh my god, you know what, please, can you just pick up a ride and go to a lounge and wait for me? My car just broke down. Yes, please, I'm going to meet you up when I sort things out. Alright, thank you. Oh my god. Why is it today of all days?
Hello, beautiful. You know, saying hi wouldn't hurt. And if I don't, did you invite me here? You know, from all indications, you just came into town, judging from the box you're carrying. And um, it seems the person that is supposed to pick you up is not taking his calls. You know what? Let's go to my house. I still have spare rooms in my apartment and I'm not married and I'm not in a relationship. You're really funny. I can really tell. Obviously. Because women are smarter these days. Come on, no woman wants to be in a relationship with someone like you. you know, I'm actually a very nice person. It's just that you're not the friendly type. This car needed services. It's been a while I drove it last. It's okay. I understand. So how was your journey? It was fine. Uh, I'm really exhausted. I can't wait to get to the hotel. Hotel? You booked a hotel? N no. I, I thought we had an agreement you're going to take care of my accommodation. Listen, it's not like the money is much, okay? But I and my fiancé live in a very big house and there are plenty of rooms. So you want me to stay at your place? Listen, Tiffany. I mean, the wedding is just two months away and we have a lot to plan on. I need all the closeness. Ella, I barely know you. I you just want me to trust you like that? Sure you can. I mean, customers are always right. Don't worry. You're safe with me. <laughs> Hey, hey, honey. How are you doing? You're back. Hey, babe. Yes. Mm. Mm. Guess who we have here? Mm. Meet Tiffany, our wedding planner. Tiffany, meet my big baby Charles. Hi. 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 Uh, nice, nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, Tiffany, let me take you to your room so you can rest. Room. Yes. Room. Yes, I told you she'll be staying with us. Um, Ella, I, I think I should stay in the hotel. Tiffany, we talked about this, okay? I told you you can stay in my place. Is it about my child? Don't worry. He's a perfect gentleman and he's okay with it. Right, baby? Yeah, yeah, right. Um, of course, of course, you can stay, yeah. I told you. Mm. Let me take you to your room, okay? Okay? Okay. Come with me. Don't worry, I'm going to make sure you have a pleasant stay. Feel at home. You don't have anything to worry about. joking as we speak right now I am in Charles house in Lagos it's not a joke look I've been rejecting jobs for months anything that had to do with love men marriages 
didn't I know I was going to end up planning Charles's wedding? Uh, yeah, the, the pay was enticing. But babe, there's no way I'm going to go on with this marriage plan. I can't. No. I can't put my heart in torture because of money. That, that's not possible. <laughs> you don't, I can't. You don't know how I feel, babes. You don't. <laughs> Tiffany, thank you again for agreeing to stay with us. Your presence here reminds me of my big day and I can't contain my joy. <laughs> it's okay, but I would have really loved to stay in a hotel. Oh, not again. It's okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know what? Tomorrow I want us to kick off with the planning. I can't okay. wait for you to give me this wedding of my dreams. <laughs> sure, I'll do that. Babe, hmm? you're not saying anything. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just um, probably because I can't relate with what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, he is a man of few words. Very sweet and a perfect gentleman. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, so tell me, why did you say that you've stopped planning weddings? I, I used to plan weddings until I started planning mine. Okay. Then um, my fiancé called off our wedding. I mean, a month to our wedding. My <coughs> fiancé called off the wedding. <clears throat> Babe, are you okay? Uh, Sorry, take it easy. Uh, uh, it must have been the pepper. There is too much pepper in the soup. No, no. no um, pepper is fine. I uh, know, I'm feeling... Um, Feeling um, funny. I think um, I'll just go upstairs and let you ladies talk. You know? All right, it's okay. Talk or whatever. Fine. Thanks, baby. Mm. Mm. I'll be with you soon, okay? All right. Mm. Mm. You know what they say men has come, but. Charles is an exception. But my father, he is a scum. He's inclusive. Mm. <laughs> um, I want to go to my room now. Oh, your room? But you're not done with your food. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. What is wrong with everyone? What's the fuss about? It's about you inviting a stranger into our house without my consent. That is a wedding planner. So? Does that make her a, a, a friend? I've never heard of a wedding planner moving in with the couple. Come on, Charles. That lady came from Abuja. I need the closeness. I need to monitor everything she does and be sure it's on time. You know... I'm really trying hard to see the sense in this, but I can't. I'm sorry. You know, you just take her to a hotel and lodge her there. She can work from there. Or here's a better idea. Let her go back to Abuja. Yeah. 
You can pick an, an, an event planner in Lagos. There are many of them to choose from. That's an unfair thing to say. Listen, I get your point, okay? But can you just let me do this my way? Your way? Oh, okay. So it, it, it's your way now. I, I, you know what? I, I thought this was our wedding. Listen, babe. It's okay. That lady here, she's just here to do her job. After that, she'll go. If you let her stay, I'm going to tell my father about us. Can I ask you a favor? Please don't tell Ella about us. You know what a topic? Okay, Tiffany, here you go. An upfront payment. <clears throat> you are Ella Williams Ajuko. That's mm -hmm. me. Does the name sound familiar? Uh, of course it should. Who doesn't know Williams Ojuku, CEO Agrochemicals and Food? He's based in Abuja. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I am going to make deposit for the best hall in town mm -hmm. and also involve the best vendors in town as well. You better. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll be in my room. All right. I can't wait to see all the beautiful things she has planned out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so I spoke to the Ashebi vendor. Okay. And he sent me the 
styles in vogue. And I think we should show her too because yeah, apparently she's your, she's your planner. First of all, show yeah. me. of shit. Do you think you're going to get married to Chief William's daughter? Hey, 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 please. Can you take it easy with the name calling? You deserve every single name I'm calling you. And even more. Hey, don't tell me to calm down. Do, do, do not tell me to calm down. Ella is upstairs. I, please. You're such an ingrate. I got you every single thing you own now, Charles. Including that girl. Look, this, this, this is not the right time and place to have this conversation, so please. So you tell me where and when is the right time to have this conversation? You know what, as a matter of fact, we shouldn't even be having this conversation in the first place. I, I, I feel your pain, okay? You tell me, if you were in my shoes, would you have gone ahead with the marriage, knowing everything that happened? I did everything for you, Charles! I did every single thing I did because I loved you! You can't use that against me. And I loved you too, Tiffany. But that made it even more difficult to bear. I, I, I did what I felt I had to do. You did what you had... Oh, so you said your preferred color for the decoration is what again? Uh, hey, hey, babe. Hi. What's going on here? I heard uh, voices. Yeah, we're talking about the wedding, yeah. Yeah. The wedding? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like that. And you didn't think to carry me along? Oh, babe. Uh, well, it just came up. Well, babe, you've actually been doing so much, you know, so... I ran into Tiffany here and I just wanted to know what she has planned. Okay, so <laughs> let me hear it. Tell me. I heard you talk about color, so... Um, yeah. You're right. Come so, on, sit down. Let's uh, talk about it. Yeah. Babe. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, I heard you talk about colors, so what colors are you looking at? Yeah, please send the cost of everything to me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, come in, come in, hold on. Okay. Hey. So... Hold on. Yeah, okay, I'll, hold on, I'll, I'll call you back. Wow! See who we have here. Are you stalking me or what? No, but it seems we are destined to be together. And you guys are friends. Birds of a feather. Bro, if you really want to have a successful wedding, I suggest you get another wedding planner as soon as possible. Why? Do you not met her the day she arrived at the lounge? And guess what? She was this rude towards me. Hmm. Well, um, if you put the attitude aside, she's actually quite good at her job. With this kind of attitude? Mm hmm And believe it or not, she actually used to be a very nice girl. Charles, mm. you sound like you knew this girl before now. Well, Ben, that's the situation I told you I needed to see you about. My wedding planner is my ex. Yeah. And we were this close, like just a month from being married before. Yeah. <laughs>
How are you? Look, look at a proud girl like you standing under the sun. Can you just pretend like you don't know me? Like we've never met. Oh, really? At least I know you and I know your name now. Tiffany! What do you mean? What, what do you mean you're not here? told me you're his ex. He did? Yeah, he did. He said you guys almost got married. You talk so much for a guy. So, what really happened? Didn't he tell you? No, he did not. Are you okay? Listen, Tiffany, if you don't want to plan this wedding, I understand. And I also know you didn't know it was Charles's wedding. And now you're working so hard not to disappoint Ella. But the truth is, if you don't feel comfortable to do it, just walk away. They can always get another planner to do it. I am very comfortable. And I am done with Charles. Please, can you just concentrate? Ah, no problems. It's all good. You know what? Anytime you need someone to drive you around town, I'm just one call away, okay? Come on, loosen up. That was a joke. I forgot to laugh. Wait. My phone. Where did you keep it? God. I must have forgotten it at the lounge. Could you help me dial it, please? What's your number? 080. That's my number. Call me whenever you need someone to talk to. Take care.
So then, when are you planning to settle down? I mean, maybe after our wedding, you should plan on settling down. What do you think? Mm, well, maybe choose one of those girls you hang with. What's, mm -hmm. the, what's the last one's name? I'm good at this. <laughs> Jane? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Erica. Mm. Are you guys being serious right now? <laughs> no, we're just trying to please the names. Come on. Mm. Anyways, no problems. You never can tell. It could happen on your wedding day. <laughs> Whose wedding? Mm. I am not letting you go close to any girl that comes for my wedding. <laughs> oh, well, don't, don't even try it. I don't trust you. Only um, Tiffany, are you going to invite your man to my wedding? <laughs> Come on, we are friends now, so you can invite your man. Oh, don't you have a man? What are you saying? How can a pretty girl like Tiffany not have a man? Unless men are blind. <laughs> Maybe they are, because I'm very much single. Really? For how long? Eight months. Huh. What happened to your last relationship? I got dumped. Dumped? Dumped? <laughs> I'm sorry, you, Tiffany, you got dumped. How? Uh, I messed up. I went out of my way to pave the way for a man I loved. I did the unthinkable. And after I got him a better life, I didn't fit in anymore. Mm -hmm. Then I calm though. Mm. I would like to think that, but my Charles is an exception. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you good? Are you okay? Do you, do you need What's wrong with you? If you take no, it easy without food. Mm. Wow. Mm. Such a sad mm. Sorry, though. I'm so sorry about that. Mm. Are you good, Charles? Yeah. Yeah. Did you notice anything at the table? Anything like what? Well, between Tiffany and Charles, some sort of strange energy. Of course there should be a strange energy. They are strangers after all. That's not what I'm talking about. There is nothing there, Lucy. Come on. Well, if you say so. Please, you need to contact the Ashobi supplier so she can send the clothes for the girls. Okay, ma'am. I will do just that. Let me see you off. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot wait for this wedding. Mm, did you see what I'm wearing? Oh, look, I'm, not I'm not showing you that. You're not okay, showing me. Not Why? Showing you. Why? You better not look better than girl. me. No, You're going to get thrown I'm, out. Uh, uh, You'll get thrown out, and I'm serious. Be. You still have my number, right? Don't worry, if you don't call me, I'll call you, okay? What's going on here? <laughs> I was actually on my way out. Come on, man. I'll see you around. All right. That's the other one. Yeah. All right. See you. All right. Bye. Is something going on there? Something like what? I'm about to be a matchmaker. Maybe my wedding planner will find her husband in our wedding. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that'd be something. I know, right? It's going to be so nice. Hi. You know, I'm not usually home this early. Ella is not home. She went out with her friend Lucy. I know. She told me. Okay. I got this for you. 
and I, I came home early because of you. Look, Tiffany, I... I really just want to apologize to you for everything. I'm truly sorry for all the hurt I caused you. Please, I didn't dump you, okay? I didn't dump you. I just lost my self-esteem as a man and I felt like I was going to be indebted to you forever. And I didn't know how else to deal with all of that except run away. And you blocked me on all social media platform. Without an explanation, Charles, I'm not you on Chief Williams' daughter. She's just an opportunist. Ella, Ella, please, please listen. I, I... I never meant for any of that to happen. It wasn't planned. I promise you. Can you please find it in your heart to forgive me? I should forgive you? Oh, because I am now in your house. I should forgive you, Charles. You see, the truth is... I didn't even know how much I missed you until I saw you again. Two years of my life with you was all wasted. Please. I regret everything. Please forgive me. Tiffany won't come down to eat. I don't know why. Um, well, she's probably busy planning the wedding. Or maybe she's not in the mood. So what about you? Why are you not eating? Um, I was waiting for you to come so we could eat together. Okay, I'm here now. And I'll pour you some water. All right. Why are you here? I don't know. Your wife? Asleep. You know, I... 
I haven't been myself since uh, since this afternoon. I get it. The kiss was really unnecessary and unfair to your wife. That's actually not what I mean. It actually reminded me of when we were still together, you know, when I was just Charles and I had nothing and we were so in love. It reminds me of all those things and I realize that I've, I've missed you, Tiffany. I really miss that. And I Hey Ben. Okay, that, that's fine. Tomorrow doesn't seem busy for me. Yeah, just send me location and time. All right. Good night. Good night, Ben. Going out with Ben. Why? Can't I? Good night, Charles. Your wife is waiting for you in bed. My fiance. The same thing. Not anymore. Not Why isn't she back by this time? Where, where is she? Where has she gone to? Tiffany is an adult. Moreover, she went out with Ben. Ben? Is Ben the kind of guy you leave a lady with? Why are you so worried? Why are you bothered about her? She's my guest after all. Well, if you had put her up in a hotel like you ought to, maybe she wouldn't be my concern in the first place. And they're back. Hey, man. Ben.
What is that? doing Ben? Ben, you're actually right. She's a very sweet girl. Ben, I need you to stay away from her. Why? Is it because she's your ex? Or are you still in love with her? No, that's not it. If she's going to be with someone, definitely not you. Oh, really? So you're suddenly her protector. Last I checked, I wasn't the one who dumped her a month before her wedding. Yes, man. Yes. I know that what I did was very terrible and that I hurt her deeply. But that's the more reason why I won't let you play with her heart. Why are you getting walked up over nothing? <laughs> this is just the first date. And you're behaving like this. <laughs> Calm down, man. Don't let your wife see you like this. Why are you coming out of there? I, um, I came to check on her. Why? What do you mean, why? She came home very drunk. I'm just being caring. At least that's what's expected of a good host, right? Are the wedding dresses? What? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Check out this one. 
Okay. Hmm. Look, I think I like this one better. Okay, yeah. this one, the long sleeve? Yeah. Oh, yeah? I think I like it better. I think I like two wedding gowns. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, let me see that other one again. Okay. Okay. Ben? Hey, what up, man? You didn't tell me you were coming. That's because I didn't come to see you. Hmm. I see. <laughs> hey, you saying something? Yes. Have you seen a black wedding dress before? Black one, right? Let me show you. Wow, that's beautiful. You like it though, right? <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yes, Daddy. In five weeks' time. Well, Daddy, I thought you were busy with your relationships in Abuja. You already know him. It's Charles. Yes, Dad. What do you mean by impossible? Did he just hang up on me? Charles? You're not saying anything. I don't know why he sounded like that. My father employed you himself. He sent you to this Lagos branch. You've met him before, right? No, I've never met your dad. So how did you get the job? I am talking to you, Charles. How did you get the job if you've not met my father? Listen to me. I don't care what it is between you and my father, but you need to get that sorted out. I have spent so much money in preparation for this wedding, and I don't want you to ruin it for me. Ella? Are you okay? I am not okay. What's the problem? My dad doesn't approve of me and Charles. Why? I don't know. And I don't care to know why he doesn't approve of me and Charles. After all, I don't approve of his numerous girlfriends in Abuja. But you know what? My major worry is Charles. I think he's hiding something from me. I, 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 have you tried talking to Charles about this? He's acting clueless. Can you imagine he said he has never met my dad? How is that even possible? My dad employed him directly. But he said he has never met him. Wow. Well, maybe he's saying the truth or something. Or why don't I help you with this? Go talk to your man. 
I'd rather strip naked in the market than talk to Charles. He's hiding something from me and I hate it with so much passion. Ah! Chief Williams. How did I not think of meeting him at the wedding? Oh, God. Your dad doesn't like Charles. Why? I don't think it's about likeness. It's more of an encounter to me. And what do you think that is? Something about how he got a job in his company. I mean, that's the only connection they have. So what are you going to do about it? I'm threatening to call off the wedding. At least, until Charles can tell me the truth of what's going on between him and my dad. Wow. This is sad. Thanks for being my personal driver this active period. At least I get to spend time with you. It's a win-win situation for me. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I really wish you wouldn't go back to Abuja again. <laughs> I can't wait to return to Abuja. I really missed my home. I don't understand. I mean, is it because of this Charles's thing? Don't you enjoy the time we spend together? Don't you miss them? I don't understand. I thought we were just having fun. I mean, enjoying each other's company. Tiffany, I've never enjoyed any woman's company like I enjoy yours. So? I really want to be more than just a driver to you. Enough, Ben. Stop this conversation, please. Tiffany, I didn't really believe in love until I met you. Ben, bold of you to think that I, Tiffany, will consider you Charles's friend. Why are you doing this? Come on, Tiffany. I only met Charles here in Lagos. And whatever it was that transpired between both of you, I am not aware. I am not part of it. Have a good day, Ben. No, Charles, I already said what I said, oh. and that's some period, okay? Come on, Come on. baby, it, it's, it's not that deep, please. How can you say you're calling off the wedding? Come on. Oh, thank God you're back, Tiffany. I want you to stop every preparations you're making for the wedding. No, no, Tiffany, you will not listen to her, okay? Who pays who? Don't make me ask for a full refund, okay? Okay, what is the problem?
Ella? Ella, what's the problem? I don't know. Please. Charles, what's going on? Um, Tiffany, it, it, it seems like you're the only one who can help me out of the situation I'm in now. What would you have me do? You still have Chief's number, right? I need you to call him. What? I need you to call him. Hmm? Call him. Call him and, and tell him not to reveal anything that happened to Ella. And make sure that, that, that he accepts our union. You want to use me yet again, Charles? Why are you so selfish? Tiffany, please. Please, you, you have to help me. I thought you said you've forgiven me. Please do this for me. Never again will I ridicule myself on your behalf, Charles. Not anymore. Not anymore. Listen up, guys. I don't think there is any problem that cannot be resolved. Let's just put our heads together and resolve this particular problem without calling off the wedding. Uh -uh. If Charles doesn't tell me what transpired between him and my father, guess what? I won't just call off the wedding, but he is leaving my house. You're welcome. I see you already moved in with my daughter. Typical of you. And you. You joined your brother here too. Tiffany. What manner of woman are you? Always plotting. Scheming. Trying to reap where you did not sow. You got a position for him in my company. A position he never deserved. And that's not enough. And now you're plotting to force him on me as my in-law. What is going on? Oh, oh, hold on, Dad. Back up, please. I don't understand. What is going on here? You mean Charles and Tiffany are siblings? You know, I'm, I'm not understanding this. Someone say something to me, because Tiffany. Charles and I are no siblings. He's my ex. What? <laughs> you, you, you have to be. You know, I've always known how much of a snake you are. You've been just be plotting underneath. I've, I've always known who you are. And you're here pretending to be innocent and all whatnot. I know you're a snake. So say something. If I'm talking to you, say something. Hold on, hold on. What are you trying to do? She might be Charles's ex. Yes, but do you know how difficult it must have been for her to plan the wedding of the same man that dumped her? Wait, 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 wait. You mean Charles is the ex that dumped you a month to your wedding? Can someone tell me what is going on here? Charles and I dated for two years. Are you really going to start with that now? Oh, shut up! Shut up! Allow her to talk. Go on. One year into our relationship, 
just lost his job. He couldn't pay his rent anymore, so he had to move in with me. I practically took care of everything, anything he needed. Until one fateful day, I met Chief at an event I planned. Honey? Baby. Hey, hon. I just said hi. I'm back. Just a minute. Okay. Okay. Hey. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you look exhausted. I am. So, how was the event? It was successful. It was really fun though. Really? And also hectic. Ah, uh, yeah, as expected. So how are you? I'm fine. But I let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. Tell me about your day. Okay, so my day was good. I met a couple of people. I met one man. Uh one big man. Don't give me that look. Mm -hmm. He gave me his card. Initially, I didn't want to collect it, but I didn't want to also embarrass him, so I collected it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? So who is he? Uh, his name is um, Chief Williams. Yeah, Chief Williams. Chief Williams? Mm -hmm. Can I see the card? Okay, sure. Where are you? Okay, yeah. It's him. Hmm? It's him, that's his business name. Do you know him? You don't know Chief Williams? No. He's like, he's like one of the most popular businessmen in town. He doesn't seem popular to me. You're cooking something. Uh, yes, yes, I am. Okay, so let me go freshen up and I'll meet you soon. Okay, yeah. Right, you do that. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, seriously, you love that place. You just need to see it, okay? The first hall I'm in. I'll be with you shortly. Just give me like um, 30, 40 minutes. Okay, if you don't like it, there's another one. There's another hall, but it's a bit expensive. But we can, we can just check it out. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll meet you soon, okay? Please, just, just 30, 30, 40 minutes, I'll be there, okay? Thank you. All right. Oh, baby. Baby. You know, you work so hard. And I really want to get busy, too. I want to support you. I want to start making money so I can take care of you. I want to be a responsible man. Don't worry, baby. You'll get a job soon. I mean, very soon. Okay? Babe. Yes, baby? That's my point, exactly. Look, we have a golden opportunity here. And we need to make use of it. What do you mean by a golden opportunity? The business card. It's called a business card for a reason, right? 
here. So. Well, babe, you remember I told you that Chief Williams is one of the biggest business moguls in this country. The man has branches of his company in many states. Yes. I can get a job with his company if we take advantage of this opportunity. How? Well, he gave you his business card so you could call him, right? Mm -hmm. So, you, you can just you know, get close to him. Make him comfortable with you, you know? And, and then you can make a request he won't say no to. I said something sexy, like really sexy. Something that, that shows those curves, eh? Those beautiful curves. Come so, on. So I should change. Yeah, yeah. Put on one of those, I don't know, sexy gown, leggings or something. That's a lovely dress. You know, I actually like this dress. It's beautiful. Uh, but, yeah, I was thinking of something, you know, low cuts, you know, show some cleavage, shorter, show some but thighs. Babe, I am going to see an old man. Who thinks he's going on a date with a new catch. Babe, I don't have a good feeling about this. Sit down. Listen, we've been engaged for how long now? Hmm? The date of our wedding is very close. We thought I'd be financially stable by now. But look at things. I still don't have a job. This is an opportunity for us. This is our big break. It's our breakthrough. So let's not be foolish and lose this opportunity. We need to take advantage of it. Do you understand? Please do this for me. It's all right. Okay. Cleavage revealing it is. Okay. I know you got it, babe. So. Let's get out of upstairs and pick out that dress. Alright. Hmm? Go put on that hot dress. Hmm? Alright. Just for you. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you too, baby. How did it go? Yes. What? He gave you all this? 
Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! You see what I said? You see it? Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, babe, now it's time to strategize. Strategize what? Come on, babe. We're just getting started with this man. What are you talking about? Don't you get it? Wherever that came from, there's more, a lot more there. So? So we go get more. What is wrong with you? Like... Babe, come on. What's wrong with you? Come on, babe, babe, come on. Are you gonna, are you just, is this, is this gonna be it? Just this, this can't do anything. This can't do anything. Come on, babe. Babe, are, are, are you not seeing the picture? Are you not seeing it? Do you know how much money we can make from this man? Do you know that this man can literally change our lives? We can become rich. You keep talking like there's a deal or a contract you want us to present to this man. We, we, we can come up with something. We can come up with a deal or, or a contract. How? You know what, just give me some time. Let me think about this, okay? I'm sure I can come up with something. Okay? Hey, come on, babe. You can't see the plan until it's ready. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the dining is set. Okay, I guess um, this can wait. Okay. that man, make money off him, just for us. We don't have to sleep with him. Don't tell me this is a sick business idea you've been putting all this while. Look, baby, it's, it's, it's just one time. You just need to do this once. That's all. Okay, look, here's the deal. You, you sleep with him and, and, and try to make sure that you get it on video, you know, like record it somehow. That's the deal. And, and guess what? Not only will we blackmail him to, to pay you so much money, but we'll also get him to give me, your brother, a job. You're mad. You are psycho. Do you think I, Tiffany, will sleep with that man? I mean, open my legs for him just for money? Oh, but babe, <sighs> you, you've been opening your legs for me free of charge. How dare you talk to me like that? I need help. Okay, I, I, I need help. I, I need help. 
I've tried. I've tried. I've tried, Tiffany. I have tried. I have tried a legitimate way to get a job. I, I, I have put everything I can into it and, and nothing is working. Men like Chief Williams have so much money and all they do is squander it on, 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 on little girls. They refuse to help a man like me with a promising future. What else can I do? <sighs> Babe, please. I'm your fiancé and I'm giving you the go-ahead to do this. Please, just once, sleep with him and change our lives for good. Please. Not anymore. Not anymore. What did you say? I'll do it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for agreeing to do this. Just once? Yeah. Once, once is, 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 it's enough. It's enough. I, I promise you, baby, you will not regret this. Okay? We're going to be rich. We're going to be multi-millionaires. Oh, come. Oh. oh. I'm coming. Come in, babe. Come in. Come in. So, how far? Um, how did it go? Were you able to, you know? This is good. So, how did you...
Alex. Alex, pull over. Speaker phone. Plan. Okay. Hello, Chief. Tiffany, why did you do it? Chief, you know what I did. You know what I'm about to do. Tiffany, why are you this desperate? Why? Chief, let's forget about all these questions, okay? There are two things you do for me, else this video will be leaked. Uh, well, remember, we are two in the video. You can blackmail me. And I have nothing to lose. What do you want? The sum of 10 million naira. And a good paying job in your company for my brother. 10 million naira? Are you out of your mind? Listen to me. You just have to choose one, okay? Chief, I don't think there's anything I ask that you can't do. Tiffany, you know I know exactly where you live. I can get you arrested. Getting me arrested will not stop the video from getting out. Okay, okay, that's fine. Send me your account details. And send his CV to my, to my mail. Chief, there won't be any need for the CV. All right. I will get him a job in my company. But it has to be my Lagos branch. That's the only place we have an opening for a top position. Okay, um, that's fine. I, I will send the account details right away. Desperate idiot. Move this car. But why did you ask for 10 million? I had to ask for something you can easily spare. Would you want him to get us arrested? Look, I have a lot to lose. I don't know about you. Anyway, um, well, I guess half bread is better than none. <laughs> wow, this worked. Lagos. There's no way you'll be going to Lagos. Why not? In that case, we'll be going together. I mean, we'll be relocating together. Um, no, I don't think so. Listen, baby, this is what we should do. Hmm? I think I should go. I should go alone first, you know? And go with the money, you know? Go, go there set things up, make sure that everything's okay so that you and I can have a good life. Invest, double that money, make it 100 million, 200 million. Babe, we're going to live the good life. I want to give you a big wedding. A big wedding with, with imported wedding dresses and bridal train dresses and all of that glamour, you know? Because you deserve it. You so deserve it. Hmm? Thank you so much for doing this. Um, you should send him the account number. Send him the account number, so. Thank you so much, baby. Baby, I will miss you so much. Aww. <laughs> of course, babe. I know. And you know I'm going to miss you too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like I told you, we're not going to be apart for too long. We'll be together again real soon. And let me just go get started with work, start earning the salary, you know, invest our money mm. in some businesses, some good deals here and there, you know, multiply it, make it like over a hundred million. 
so that I can give you a befitting, befitting wedding. wedding. <laughs> You're going to be dressed like a princess. Can't wait, baby. Yeah. Our wedding is going to be the talk of town. Oh. It's going to be so big. Trust me, I'm going to mess it up. Yeah. yeah but true. baby, mm -hmm. don't cheat on me. Why would you even think that? That's the last thing on my mind. Mm, yeah. Sure. Come on. <laughs> okay. Is there is there going to be any woman out there like you? I, I, I doubt. I don't think I can find any. Mm. 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 Bye, baby. All right. Charles, don't, don't joke with me. What, what is Charles trying to say? You can't do this to me, Charles. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Wow. Just wow. Is this the kind of man you want to marry? Oh, Father, please. You have no moral justification to ask me questions. Who is talking about morals here? If you really were looking around that budget with different girls, we wouldn't even be having this meeting. Hold it! Don't talk to your father like that. And you, it was foolish of me to think that you loved me. But I do. Shut up, you gold digger. You set my father up with your girlfriend. You blackmailed him into giving you a job. And then, you met me. I was an easier route to wealth. You squandered all the money you made from my father on unnecessary things. And then you came to live with me. I was even going to walk down the aisle with you. <laughs> oh my God. That would have been so foolish of me. And you. Lucy told me about you. And I liked you. You coming here was not your fault. The least you could have done was to tell me the truth. But you must have taken me for a fool. You seem really happy with him. It seems you wanted this marriage to work too. And I didn't want to ruin it. You were going to watch me marry him. Knowing full well that he never loved me. That he wanted me because of my money and to inherit my father's wealth. You know what? When I said I was going to call off the wedding, it was a meth threat. But right now, I am calling it off for real. And you. I want you to give me a breakdown of everything you've spent my money on as regards to the preparation for the wedding. I need you to refund me. And don't worry, I'll give you your thanks for coming. Chief. Chief, please. Please, forgive me. I beg you. Please, let's let bygones be bygones. I do love Ella. I love your daughter. I swear to you. Please. Chief, please, please. Let my be by Please. 
please. I, I really do love your daughter. Chief, please. Tiffany, could you come in, please? No. <sighs> Tiffany, could you please come in? Come in. Don't worry, I'll find my way. I am not leaving you, all right? Tiffany, we still have a lot to talk about. Ben, you heard everything in there. There's nothing more to talk about. And who's talking about that? Then what else do you want us to talk about? You and I. Tiffany, whatever thing it was that happened in there between you, Charles, and anyone else, I understand, but the truth is, I don't have anything to do with that. Alright? And I promise you, I will not judge you for any reason. I know I'm not a perfect being. Alright? I promise you, I won't judge you. I've done so many terrible things which you wouldn't want to know. But it doesn't matter what we did in the past. What matters most is what we do while moving forward. Can we at least go to my place first? Oh, it's okay, you're safe with me now. <laughs> 